Hey everybody, it's another beautiful day here in Southern California. Um, Val has actually crashed. All the activity in the last two days is taking their toll on her. So she's basically still asleep. Uh, today that gives me a chance, of course, to go tear into the garage. But uh, take a look at this. It's 82 degrees here. And um, it's just gorgeous outside. We had the Santana winds blowing again. It's not as bad as the last one. It's just a bigger breeze than usual. You can see all the way to the San Gabriel Mountains. And there's, there's snow on the peaks. It's as close to snow as we get. Sorry to you guys who are in the deep freeze, but um, it's a nice warm day. It's almost like a spring day. Okay, what I'm trying to get done today in the garage is I have these um, frames from my mom's house. Uh, it's actually on a porch and it, they used this plastic to keep the wind out and it's pretty old. It's get, gotten yellow, some of it's just completely torn out. I have one of the frames that is completely broken, so I'm going to have to uh, build a new one. So that's what I'm going to try and do today, uh, is build a new frame for my mom and uh, fill the, all the rest of these frames with uh, plastic. Okay, so I finally got this table cleaned off and I've got my screens out. I'm going to have to pull the plastic out and I have new plastic had to order it online because it's difficult to find it anywhere. So it's nice clear plastic, it's really tough stuff. Uh, I got some spline to put it in, I have tools to put it on. But it's, it's afternoon right now. And I'm gonna go run and get Val one of her favorite things which is a uh, uh, carnitas burrito from Alberto's. Okay, so I'm on my way to get some food for lunch. I just got an email from work saying that my Cobra information didn't come through. So that's got to be something I have to deal with right away because uh, Val has doctor's appointments and I can't lose this uh, insurance. And for those of you who are not in the Americas, um, you might be surprised. It's now that uh, I have to pay for this myself, uh, I'm holding on to my same insurance with the same doctors. For Val and I, it's going to cost me a thousand dollars a month just to get going, and uh, that's that's really starting to kill me. Um, we're doing okay right now, uh, as far as the month of December, we have enough money to have a nice Christmas, and um, but after. After this month, it's it's going to get really tough. Uh, I, next month, I'm going to actually start looking for a job. I haven't tried. I'm just trying to uh, to settle things in and make sure everybody's okay. Um, mortgage is going to come out January 1st, and that's another two thousand dollars. So that's three grand coming out um, without anything coming in. So it's it's going to be tough from here on out. Um, all right, so here I am at Alberto's. Yeah, I would like a carnitas burrito and an order of five rolled uh, taquitos with guacamole and cheese. That'll do it. Okay, so I got my lunch. You can see how the wind is picked up. The trees are out. Blowing south. Our, our south hills here in Corona is a pretty nice looking. It's a rare sight again. It's really a, a clear day. See all the palm trees blowing in the wind. So here's Val. She's uh, awake. Back from the dead. Bought her one of her favorites. You alive? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stay up after I eat and I'm gonna start wrapping Christmas presents. Yay. But we may have to turn the air conditioner on. <laughs> but it's December. Yeah, but it's 82 degrees. <laughs> 
So that was not bad, and finally, rapping. Hip hop, hippity 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 hop. Uh, rapping yes. gifts. That was my rapping. Pretty bad, dear. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm not a rapper. I'm a country girl. Okay. <laughs> you almost done? Um, considering I wrapped, this is my second gift. No. <laughs> and 300 st stocking stuffers. And what did everybody say about the stocking stuffers, my dear? I think everybody's crazy for wrapping stuff. <laughs> um, I think you just called half of our our subscribers crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they watch us, so they must be. <laughs> we just watched one of our subscribers that put out her first video, Portland Creek Diaries. And shout out to you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Shout out to you, Michelle, Michael, Ellie, and Lucy, and Chloe. How's that look? Pretty? Yes, I dear. I was just thinking, why don't you just wrap her up and mail her off somewhere? Daryl Roper, what's your address? <laughs> it's okay, we'll put a few holes in the box. <laughs> How am I supposed to wrap Christmas gifts? How am I supposed to get this done? Huh? <laughs> I did this up on the table so I wouldn't be bothered by the dogs. <laughs> and you don't care what I'm saying. Nope. As long as you're petting, you're fine. Keep going. <laughs> what do you think, Doodles? No? Okay, so um, I've got my mother's old frame here, and it's been cut in a 45 degree angle. I've only got half of it, so but I got at least uh, a way to measure the, the full size of this thing. Um, it's what I'm putting together is not going to have a 45 degree cut. It's got um, little square corners on it, so I I could just cut the, the the metal part just on a straight 90 degree cut. I don't have to worry about 45 degree cuts or anything. And it just snaps in. The only thing I have to be concerned about is this is three quarters of an inch wide. Um, so I have to subtract a, an inch and a half from the total length or uh, I'll be off. And that would not be good. Okay, so I got this cool little cutoff saw. It's great for uh, working with stuff like this. I'm not concerned about sparks because this is aluminum and aluminum doesn't spark. I've ganged two of the... Um, uh, rails together, the styles together, and uh, I'll cut them both at the same time, and then I'll measure the other one and do the same thing. Okay, one of the things that uh, this particular kit did was put the spline already into the track, so I have to get that out. And this was the best way to get it out, was with this great set of uh, school skill micro screwdrivers I got from uh, Cat and Doug. Thanks, Cat and Doug. This was, would have been a pain otherwise. All right, so now I have everything cut. I just need to assemble it. They all just snap in, and if I cut correctly, this will be square. A rectangular. Uh, I use a little rubber mallet to make sure that it's going to be nice and snug. Don't be too hard. So there it is. Looks rectangular to me. Uh, and here's the original. And that should be the same size. 
which it looks like it is to me. So next step, of course, is to put the, the uh, plastic in. Okay, so I've uh, never put plastic into a screen frame before. Uh, this is the plastic. I had to order it online because absolutely nobody has it at the store. And they didn't even know what the heck I was talking about. Uh, it turns out it's plastic for um, greenhouses. So I guess it's designed to last well under the sun. Light. And so it's thin and completely transparent and it's pretty tough stuff, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is spline. It's just a, a piece of plastic. It's got a hole in the middle that makes it flexible. Um, and it goes into the track and I have a tool that pushes it into the track. This is the most perilous part that I, I know of because if you have to push real hard, sometimes you get out of the track and you can punch a hole in your I'm screen. Start right in the corner. And I use the, the end that has a little concave in it. And just push that in. Making sure I have no wrinkles. And I've got four more to do. Hey, Dana. Hi, Gavin. Hey. There's Lucy. Lucy's back. Yay. So I stepped away to let the dogs out. Yeah. And I had a box all ready to rot the next thing for Megan. Uh -huh. And this is what happened when I came back. Just wrap them up. Throw them under the tree. This box is not big enough. You just, you know. Throw a lot of tape around it? Yeah. Can you get me some duct tape? Yeah, I got duct tape. Hey, everybody. Guess what time it is? I do what? What? That's what I said. That sounded like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo time! <laughs> um, I tried my best. No, I think that should be up here. He's been naughty. He's been a naughty boy. Well. What? I have to make a correction. She made a boo-boo yesterday. I made, I made a big boo-boo <laughs> yesterday. Yes, she did. Yes. And I hope it didn't cause a fight. They said it didn't. They kind of laughed, but I still got to fix it. Taylor <laughs> Berry and her boyfriend, Alex. Shout out to you! <laughs> and welcome to the neighborhood! <laughs> you have bad breath. Why must you just stare at me? Go ahead. <laughs> to you guys and welcome to the neighborhood sorry Alex that I called you Alan it's been crazy around here I wrote it down wrong and da, 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 da. yeah 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 so, <laughs> but they got it shout out to the two of you Taylor and Alan Alan did you say Alan again I did. <laughs> she, she did she did <laughs> she can't even say the name Alex. okay let's try this one more time one more time Taylor Berry and her boyfriend Alex. Shout out to the two of you and welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, I got it right and I'll get it right again. Yvonne B hasn't been feeling very well. She's been feeling under the weather. I hope you were feeling much better by Christmas and that you had a very happy Christmas or Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, however you say it. I think you're in the UK, so in the UK they say Happy Christmas, right? I think so. Yes, so I hope you have a very happy Christmas. Paul W. Welcome to the neighborhood. Taylor Berry and her boyfriend Alex. Welcome to the neighborhood. Again? <laughs> How many times are you going to welcome to the neighborhood? Hey. I messed up their name. All right, go All ahead. right, I gotta make sure I get it right. Mikey B, shout out to you. Did you get that one right? Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. 
Alex Griffin, thank you. I did love both the cards you sent. They are two of my favorites. I absolutely love polar bears, as everybody knows. No. And I love Snoopy. I know, I'm 48 years old, and I sleep with a stuffed polar bear and a stuffed Snoopy. <gasps> Alex and Taylor Berry, shout out to you! <laughs> I just feel bad I got their name wrong. And I did it wrong again today! Oh, that hurt! Did you step on your foot? <laughs> no, his back rubbed against my foot. Okay, and... What? Um, Justina C. was asking about the fan funding. First off, we finally got that all up and running and everything is working perfectly on that. And we would like to thank everybody who has donated to our channel as of now, as of so far. Um, we greatly appreciate it. You have no idea how much that is going to help us. And for those of you who are having a hard time finding where to go to do that. If you do it from a tablet, it's right under the vlog. It says support this channel with a blue bar that says support. Just click on that. Or from the computer on our home page, it'll be off on the right hand oh. side. There's a little bar that says our name and support this channel and just click the blue bar there and you can donate as there as well. So, Justina, there's your answer. And again, thank you to everyone who has donated. We greatly, greatly appreciate it from everyone. Absolutely. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. What are we going to do for credit roll? I know. Let's do patty cake. No, no, yes, no, no, cake. no, no, cake. no, no patty cake. Okay, then let's dance. Oh, we do. What's the one of three? You can't dance, you've got a bad foot. Your, bad, your foot's really bad right now. Yeah, Isn't my foot right? is very, very swollen today. And I wasn't on it all day. Today's the 23rd. It's almost Christmas. <sighs> Here, I got my foot up on Kenobi. Ow! No, Kenobi put his foot down. No, my foot fell. Okay, we done? Do your thing. Do I think? Do your thing. You are all part of I'm, I'm doing this nice and calm now. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. She's scary. <laughs> when are they coming home? <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We honestly and truly would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thumbs up, and we will see See you all tomorrow. Uh, what? Bye. <laughs>